Cool. Alright, what's going on YouTube? So today I'm gonna be showing you how to install Fightcade and get games to work, you know, um specifically catered to Street Fighter 3 Third Strike. Um we having trouble with like finding the ROM for it, whatnot. This should help you. Um and again if you wanna play any other game on Fight Kate, this should be this should be the way to go too because this w this method will help you uh, play any game essentially on Fightcade. Uh, it's just a few easy steps. So let's get started, right? So you want to hit your browser, uh, Fightcade.com. Uh, I'm gonna leave the links for the description, so you won't have to look for anything. Everything's gonna be in the description. If you go scroll down over. <coughs> so this is Fightcade. There's uh, three versions of it. There's one for Mac, one for Linux, and one for Windows. I'm going to be using the Windows version. Um, you can click it and it will instantly start downloading. Before I even start downloading, I would highly recommend you go in here where it says register. You want to hit this register and essentially make an account, right? You want to make your username, your password, and then your email and hit register and you'll get an email confirmation you want to do this first because once you actually have Fightcade installed you're gonna need your your user name to even log into the servers so go ahead and register for this for the server first and then you want to click and download it and I'll catch you all in a minute once it's finished downloading all right so so basically, once it's done downloading, you want to go and find it. And I usually, usually I, it goes to like my downloads folder. I don't know where it goes to you, but you should know where your downloads go. And you should have this Fightcade Win 22 latest. And you want to go ahead and run it. It's an XE. You want to install Fightcade, you hit yes. And here you can, this is the location of where it's going to like install, where all the files are going to be on. So hopefully you take note of exactly where it is because we're going to need to know where it is in a minute. Um, you could also change the location. Like if you have external hard drives connected to your PC, you could send them there too. But I'm just going to use it on default. It's it's not like it's that like spacious. So uh, we're going to hit OK. And it's going to install. It should be a quick installation. I think it takes about like two minutes or something. <clears throat> um, and the reason why I'm trying to do this tutorial is because, you know, uh, it's, it's not a surprise to me. Like every day, you be on Fightcade and there's someone typing in the chat room, uh, "Hey, my ROMs don't work. Where do I get the ROM file?" And you know, people just like you know, like chickens without their heads. Just help me out, fellas. Where, where, what's the problem here? And so. Hopefully I could just send them this video and they could help them out. So this is the DirectX, which I think is just kind of like the GGPO in a sense. And then hit next. You will, first you agree and then you hit next. And so installation complete. <coughs> once once you reach to the installation complete, you just want to hit finish. Uh, you won't be needing this anymore, but keep it around for a minute so now then we got 5k installed it should bust out a logo here 5k2 and it should also bust out the 5k1 logo but you don't be you won't be needing 5k1 everything's just 5k2 all right so well now that we got 5k2 installed um, before I even open it uh, you want to hit this link I'm gonna leave in the description. It's basically the do the Google Docs on how to like optimize your settings, but it's got a very like important file. You can see right here this this link right here. You just gotta scroll down to the registration and download and this ROM pack right here. You wanna click it and it should download like instantly because it's not that big of a file. <coughs> So once you download that, 
Hopefully you got WinRAR or Win or Seven Zip on your computer. It allows you to like unzip files because you're gonna need you're gonna need it. And you should get ROM pack. And you should get and inside you should see all these like JSON files. You gonna go ahead and cut these. You could copy them, but I like to cut them just to like get rid of them. Now our I mentioned how you're gonna need to know where you installed your fight cade because you're gonna need to know right now as we make our way to it. Here we go, fight cade. Once you find your fight cade folder, you want to hit emulator. Now that we're in the root of the emulator, you want to go ahead and uh, you know paste. You can hit Control V or paste, and now we copy those JSON files into the root of emulator. Now these JSON files are, are the files that allow you to download ROMs straight from the 5k2 server without you having to look for ROMs individually. And in a sense it downloads the correct ROM because some websites will give you like the wrong uh, ROM. And 5k2 uses a specific ROM file. You know it's an altered ROM, so it's gonna need that. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and see. Well, once you log in, uh, you should you should see something like this. So hopefully you remember your username and your password. So go ahead and type that in. So hopefully, hopefully you were able to like log in on your own. Uh, and this should be like the default settings. You see this page right here about the, you know, the like the programmers. You see the toolbars here. You hit the search bar, and you can see like all the games available to play. You got from King of Fighters, uh, Third Strike, Marvel, uh, some Metal Slug, and Essentially, if you've done everything correct up to this point, you could basically just join any of these and the ROM should download on its own. Example, I'm going to hit join for third strike and it's already like it's searching for them and it's downloading the the specific ROM that 5K2 asks for. Because like I mentioned, you can find this ROM on other sites, but it's typically not the same ROM that 5K2 demands. No, it's not like GGPO or something, you know, it's not tweaked to play on GGPO. So this is like the lobby of Third Strike. So like all the players and stuff. So now that you saw that the game downloaded, you want to go ahead and hit test game. Just to be sure, like everything is working on your end. As you can see, the game is running. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and reach for my arcade stick. It's a little loud. Uh, what I like to do is, I don't like, I don't play with uh, scan lines, and I make sure I put the scores on rent. It helps out when you're playing online and you want to hit miscellaneous I think I want to learn a little too fast miscellaneous I mean sorry input game inputs and you know you could connect your arcade stick your pad anything on USB really or even um, even like a keyboard if you're a keyboard player I don't know why you're playing keyboard but that's okay. So now basically you see the this is the action player one coin. That's the action and this is what it's mapped to. The this is the key that will cause the action, right? So you wanna click this this side and now you press a button on your arcade stick and that should like you know trigger like so now you wanna press this button for start this co for coin. And you essentially just map your buttons this way. If you're familiar with fighting games, 
Oh, they allow you to like map your buttons. And, like objects or something. So I'm just going ahead. I'm basically just going ahead and mapping my buttons. Weak punch, medium punch, heavy punch, light kick, medium kick, uh, heavy kick. I don't know why they say strong kicks. Um. So hit OK. Um, we can go ahead and make this full screen. We got the coins, and we basically got the game running. Alright, so this is what it looks like when you're playing online. Um, oops. Oh, we missed this too. see it's like almost lagless that with people with good connection and you could tell the people's connection before you even challenge them um, it's basically like what 30th should have been but that game was a disaster it didn't even run ggpo <laughs> And roll back, I think. So that's gonna be the end of the video. Uh, hopefully, you enjoyed and whatnot. See you guys next time, alright? Peace.